same village, let's see if I can scroll up to the top. The same village, um, the A stands for all inclusive, apolitical, and the kids said awesome. So that's what it's about. And obviously, the STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Um, being a network administrator and computer science teacher at Banneker, I realized how difficult it was for teachers to be able to go into project-based learning with the students. And so we started a robotics program in an after-school setting. Um, as we started attracting more kids and they started requesting to be in school during spring break and summer vacation, we realized that we may be on to something. We reached out to other, um, our partner school, which is St. Peter's, um, Peter's Catholic School, and we formed a very unique public-private partnership. Um, and that extended over to other charter schools, Academy Lafayette. So all of our robotics kids, you see this um, picture right there, that's about five schools, students from about, yeah, five different schools that we all get together quarterly, what we call our Community STEAM Day events. We had our last Community STEAM Day event um, May 10th um, at our school, and I think we had Ling Lab out, and, uh, this, uh, this gentleman right here came and set up uh, a, a maker space. And so we basically take our school and turn it into a science, technology, engineering, arts, and math playground. And if you have anything that's science related, hands on, interactive, you're welcome to come out. Um, our program is based on five basic programs that is robotics, <coughs> video game design, computer coding, animation, and our flagship, the Student Space Flight Experiments Program. All of our programs are based on a community learning model. That means that the entire community learns, works on the same project in what we call a, co a competition, cooperation. actually. We cooperate and we compete. Um, we have that, comp that cooperation at the, both the um, student level as well as the educator level. Am I going to get it? There we go. Okay. Um, at, the student, at the student level and the educator level. Um, the Student Space Flight Experiment Program, for instance, we're in September, we will embark on our third Student Space Flight Experiment Program. We started um, last fall. Kansas City, um, Mr. Usher with the City of Kansas City helped us to raise, it cost $21,500 for us to participate in allowed schools. We started out the first year with 300 students and evolved to 790 in Mission 6. And, um, we wrote our grant to Mozilla. Mozilla was so fortunate. They, they were so gracious. We were the fortunate ones. They were gracious enough to select our video game design, which we're doing for um, the summer camps at Academy Lafayette, St. Peter's, and um, Academy Lafayette. Richard, Richard um, Wilnowski has a site that technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the end of what we're going to get to, if you don't mind if I show you a quick video of students from Academy Lafayette using the Zytec technology to present to senior executives in Seattle, Washington at DigiPen Institute of Technology. We are a four-year partner with DigiPen Institute of Technology, and just to give you a little background on DigiPen, they have been ranked um, by the Princeton Review as the third best um, video game design <laughs> post-secondary school in the United States. MIT is number 10, number one is the University of Central, I mean, University of Southern California, and number two um, is the University of Utah. So, I'm gonna show you this video. You're gonna see the kids doing an interactive, just interactive presentation of their experiment. Um, this is actually a robotics team doing the presentation on their robotics piece, and at the end you will see a video that they created using animation, which will then, after the video plays, I'm gonna go into our summer program and show you the projects that the students have been working on, thanks to our friends at Google Fiber who helped us to offset the deficit in funding that we had to serve the 1,400 kids that we are serving this summer.
<laughs> no video. <laughs> what you can't hear all the tiger moms is garbage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to bring people into the classroom like we did Ambassador Sepulveda when he was visiting here with the city. We, we brought him from Union Station into our fourth grade classroom in Banneker. It also allows us to take the students and bring them, take them all the way up to Seattle and put them into the conference room with the executive of uh, Edgerton, like they're doing right now. So, the 
this slide is going to eventually go into video game design, which for the purposes of this grant is what we do in Bumble. <laughs> with what we're using this for. And, uh, How many of you are familiar with Scratch? Okay. So, as you know, Scratch is open source by MIT. We've also partnered with another Mountain View, California company called Tinker. Um, Tinker is taking Scratch and they've developed a full curriculum. So we've got 1,300 kids starting right now with the Academy Lafayette camp started two days ago. Banneker we started three weeks ago and St. Peter's is on their third week. We're starting them with the curriculum 101, 102. The kids are whipping through that little project for, um, and then we'll elevate all of those kids up to curriculum that's actually designed for six, seven, but since they're getting the basics, they'll be able to do the curriculum. Ho hopefully, we will create the next generation of talent for programmers and coders and kids that are interested in filling those 21st century jobs that the sons are going to create in the next five or 10 years. with the output. They'll take something from scratch. Tell us the 